joined now by a very special five-year-old <laughs> girl who has inspired a pair of footballers to take on a huge challenge. Two years ago, Dottie Rees was diagnosed with a brain tumour and is currently undergoing treatment. However, she's not let that stop her incredible fundraising events and with her family being big fans of QPR mm -hmm. Football Club, uh, today they have roped in some former players to climb at Mount Snowden. <laughs> in just a moment, we'll be going live to Snowden to join Dottie's mum, Lou, and ex-professionals Mark Bircham and Jamie Mackey. But first, we're joined by Dottie and her dad, John. Good morning. Welcome. Thank Good you morning. for coming. Morning. We all feel positively underdressed today because you have the best dress and yeah. the best sparkly shoes. You look beautiful. So Thank welcome, you. welcome. Now, John, tell us a little bit about the diagnosis because this was back in 2020, so we know what that year was looking yeah. like for the rest of us, but it was September and Dottie here was having headaches and feeling very sick, wasn't she? Yeah, so not... Her symptoms weren't that long. She had mm. four days' worth of headaches and uh, dizziness and, and a little bit of sickness. Put that down to her mum was away. Louise was away for a, for a grand's funeral. So just put it down to her missing her mum a little bit and maybe a viral infection and that sort of thing. So, yeah, symptoms didn't, didn't last that long at all. Um, and it was only sort of us pushing, went to the doctor. They said, oh, it's just a viral infection. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Louise said, no, something's not right, so took her to A&E. So how did you finally end up getting that diagnosis and where? Uh, so Basildon, our local hospital, uh, Louise was there. I was on night shifts, so I was in bed. So Louise had taken Dottie to, to Basildon. Mm -hmm. MRI scans, CT scans. Uh, the first I knew about it was my father-in-law, Louise's dad, Jim, knocking on the front door and said, come on, son, I need to talk to you both at the hospital. Mm -hmm. And your, your soul just kind of yeah. falls away. Yeah. yeah, God, I bet. And so then you go from there straight to Great Ormond Street Hospital, where, as we know, the care is the, the best Exceptional. anywhere in the yeah, world. Exceptional. And you are under a surgeon who is the best at the surgery that he does and straight into surgery, pretty much. Yeah, so, yeah, they blue light just to Great Ormond Street. It was a bit of a relief for us because we've been under Great Ormond Street for nearly 10 years with our other daughter, Bella. Right. So for us, it's a bit of a home from home. Right, and Great okay. Ormond Street has always had that feel. So a little bit of a relief that we knew we were going there. Um, Dottie was put on uh, steroids mm -hmm. and they said, if she can give us the weekend, because of the, the build-up of fluid on her brain, if she can give us the weekend, then we can look at the surgery options yeah. on the Monday, because that was a Friday, so, yeah. yeah, surgery was on the Monday. Well, then you've, you know, you've got the surgery, you've got the treatment, you've got the chemo, you know, all of this, Dottie, you know, sort of that's tough stuff to go through, but as we said to you before we even sat down on the sofa here how amazing we think you are. You are in the hospital and you're the, you know, the centre of entertainment. Um, we've, got, we've got video of you, uh, of you here, uh, dancing on your bed, singing, <laughs> uh, keeping everyone entertained. Is it a blame? She is. She, she does. She's, she's got a bit quiet, but she does. She always... <laughs> she's, she's, she's a little Miss Chatterbox and she loves to entertain everyone yeah. and put a smile onto other people's faces. She's, yeah. she's amazing. And did you we... like doing that? Did you, yeah. You like making them laugh? Yeah. And entertaining them? Well, you're very good at it. Um, so, obviously, you've been fundraising with various charities and then you took the decision to set up Dottie's Trust. Yes. Um, and this was specifically for her um, to raise money for care that she may need and just kind of start on that on that process um you as you've said here you mentioned the football club uh you got lots of support from them from the get-go and this was bianca austin who's charlie austin's wife that's yes. all you were chatting about and she's kind of been integral to getting this climb going Com completely completely so um bianca contacted us on she contacted us on social media uh tail end of last year and she was just saying how inspiring Dottie is. And she said the way we portray Dottie's story, Dottie's mm. journey on Twitter, the highs, the lows and everything in between, trying to tell the full story uh, of how that journey can be. She was in inspired by that. So she wanted to invite us to a, fa a fan zone day at the club, but that got cancelled because of COVID. Ugh. Yeah, so she, she did a few things for us over Christmas and then spoke to Victoria and said, look, I want to do something for Dottie. I want to, you know, climb... Climb a mountain, Snowden, which, yeah. is, do it. which is where we are right now. <laughs> yeah. and we, were, we were laughing because we were saying that you really got the rough end of the stick here because there, there are two of your heroes, that, uh, three actually, obviously. Well, of course, three yeah, heroes, yeah, yeah. But two footballing <laughs> heroes who are there with uh, with Louise, uh, and you ended up with us. So, uh, so <laughs> no, where do you rather be? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm nice and warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, Louise, um, you are, you know, sort of standing there at the foot. You've got the whole thing ab uh, about to kick off. How are you feeling? Have you been able to do any training? at all. 
I started doing my training and unfortunately Dossie got really poorly, so we was back in hospital. So I was just walking around the hospital um, room. Um, yeah, so I'm here now. We've already done about 45 minutes an hour. <laughs> I don't even know how I got here, so yeah. I'll be fine. I'll so, get... so far, so good. A QPR have supported you throughout Dottie's treatment. Yeah. How yeah. amazing has that been for you? Yeah, they just, they're like family now. Um, Bianca has been so welcoming. All of them have been welcoming, but Bianca particularly, and I'm just absolutely gutted she's not here with us today, because if it wasn't for her, us crazy people wouldn't be here either. Well, sadly, <laughs> she's got, uh, she's unwell at the moment, so she, she, couldn't, she couldn't be there. Um, Mark and Jamie, how's the climb been for you two so far? This, I mean, for you personally, you wanted to be there because you're both, you're both fathers yourselves, and so you... You know, this resonated with you. Yeah, I think for, for both of us, I mean, the football club's been amazing when we were players and there's such a community feel around the club. And um, like we mentioned before, everyone's a, a big family. And so any, any opportunity we could do to help and the club, the club reached out to us and uh, having three kids myself, like you said, it really resonates about the situation and how amazing the family are, uh, the whole the whole family network um, supporting Dottie. So anything we could do to help her even climb a mountain, we, we were obviously there straight away. <laughs> so, Mark, it's all it's all well and good, you know, sort of saying, right, that is a great idea. We're going to go for this, and uh, and and then you suddenly end up there. Um, and what sort of what sort of prep have you managed to do? And has there been a moment where you thought, oh, this is bigger than I thought? None. <laughs> Do you know what? I've done no prep, to be honest. I, I'd like to say I've, walk, I've been walking for 43 years of my life. That's about the only prep I've done. Uh, but, and it's a lot colder here than it looks. It's, crazy. it's, crazy. it's a lot yeah. colder here than it looks. I know the well, sun's be, out, but... You actually do need to be wrapped up warm. Yeah, there is someone who is wrapped up warm. Uh, Dottie, what, what's the name of the mascot? Jude the cat. Jude the, the cat. cat. And Jude the cat has been lurking around in the background, who's actually going to do the climb with you. That in itself is quite uh, is Jude? quite a difficult thing. But Jude is a lot warmer uh, than Jude. anybody. There's Jude. <laughs> than anybody, anybody else. Jude yeah, looks Jude really off. happy about that. <laughs> he's he's set off. Glad it's not raining. <laughs> <laughs> we wish you the best of luck, you guys. Enjoy it, have fun. We'll be thinking of you today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, We've got your Just Giving page on the screen. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to um, uh, do all we can to promote that for you. Um, £10,000 for brain tumours research. Wear a hat day in 2020. You've done that already. Um, obviously, you've got you know, sort of specific stuff that you want to raise now because you're looking at Dottie's care. Yes. Um, it, the 1st of March today is the start of Brain Tumour Awareness it Month. It is, yes. Um, yes. And, uh, and my goodness me, you're doing that. And thank you very much, indeed, I know. Dottie, for our, for our badges today okay. as well. Badges. That's thank absolutely you. brilliant. Thank you. Dottie, lots of love. Thank you. Lovely to meet you all. Love to your family. No, thank you for having thank us. You. Thank you.